Hi, I'm Chloe Steinig, and on today's Moog Minute, we'll dive into the new AIM building that is currently under construction on our East Aurora campus. We'll tour the new facility, find out how the machine shop will improve efficiency, and learn more about what this building means for Moog's future. Hi, Mark. Thanks for joining us today. Um, we're standing in the new AIM building. Can you tell us what AIM means and why this building is needed? Absolutely. We call this facility our Advanced Integrated Manufacturing Facility. This facility represents a significant investment in the future of the military aircraft group. As you know, our space in Plant 2 is constrained at the moment and our business is growing. This facility will have around 120,000 square feet of manufacturing space when it's all said and done almost 50% more than Plant 2 has today. So the beauty of having all of this space in a very large rectangle is that we've been able to design the workflow in a way that maximizes the ability to move the equipment or the hardware in and out of the manufacturing areas as well as the waste. So it really should simplify the flow um, and also prevent people from having to push heavy things. And so um, safety of the folks that are in the factory was something we considered as well. So this is the second floor of our AIM office facility. Um, it's the mezzanine area, so it provides a connection over to the shop floor. Right below us, we've got our shop floor, double reinforced concrete floors, 12 inch thick, so made for machining. And then the connectedness. We wanna make certain that every area has a connection back to that factory floor, whether it's the support rooms, or whether it's this mezzanine, the office area, the huddle rooms have glass through and through. And the intention is that, again, everything's about running this factory and making sure that it's fit for purpose for machining. What products are being moved into here? We will be moving a majority of the products that we currently manufacture in Plant 2 today. There are about 1,500 parts in total that will transition over the next couple of years. So for us, that's a big, big effort for the team. We're gonna leverage our 80-20 mindset and focus first on the parts that drive the most volume for our business going forward. The factory itself, it's designed for the types of products that Military Aircraft Group has now. Uh, it's got technology that will take us into the future. We've got the ability to continue to expand within those cells. Over the last 10, 15 years, manufacturing technology has improved. And so we're able to, in some cases, consolidate operations and eliminate pieces of old equipment that might be aged and combine them into a newer piece of equipment. I'm standing in front of the piston automation cell. The focus of this cell is to improve throughput while also reducing the overall turnaround time of the parts. The major component of the cell is the robot system. It features a HMI that allows us to schedule up to three different jobs at a time. The new building will feature three multitasking cutting machines with a rail-mounted robot that will tend to them. The plan is to replace an existing manually driven process that normally takes multiple individual operations and machining equipment to complete a part. Some of these machines are over 20 years old. The new cell will replace the aging equipment while reducing our overall footprint. So how will this building impact both current and future operations here? Great question, Chloe. This facility represents a significant step forward for our business in terms of manufacturing technology. We will leverage increased automation, in-cell inspection activities, and a building and a facility purposely designed around product flow to better serve and meet our customers' needs in terms of quality and delivery. One of the things that we should see is a significant reduction in what the customer sees as lead time. We're consolidating a lot of the work centers that we have in the shop into these cells, manufacturing areas. So where the process might have taken 30, 40, 50 days, we're able to get an order through in one or two days. I am really excited about this. This is a, an opportunity that just does not come along very often. We have the chance here to put in new technology, replacing some of the assets that have been working for us for many, many years. I've been super excited to be part of this. It's been an honor to be part of a brand new factory, um, thinking about all the different uh, things we need to do in order to improve bit of a humbling experience too. As the lead manufacturing engineer of this project, I'm excited for the future phases to come. We're excited to see the building complete. I'm Chloe Steinick and thanks for joining us for a Moog Minute.